This is where the light was coming from, right? I think so, but... Daylight is fading. We should move. I can't see that light from before anymore. Was it a mirage? Or are those only in extreme heat? No, it was real. I think. Let's head closer to the parish and check. Got some syrup. It might be a stretch, but I really hope the Benevidons appear in this game at some point. That might just be a Trials of Mana thing, but I really hope we see, like, maybe not the Benevidons, but something at least equivalent to B the Benevidons. That would be awesome. At least something, like, equivalent to them and their size would be great. So this is the Moonlit Parish of Terran. After you! <laughs> Don't move. What business do you have in Etern? Watch where you're pointing that thing. If you value your lives, go no further. What do you mean? <sighs> uh, oh, it's just a fox. Eter no longer benefits from its elemental's protection. Let this be a warning. Trespassing within could cost you your life. I am Morley, a swordsman from Etern. It's last, in fact. Wait, but Etern... You mean... you're... a survivor from the parish? <clears throat> I see. You and the alms need to go through Etern in order to cross the valley and complete your pilgrimage. I understand your predicament, but as you saw, getting into Etern can be... complicated. Let's get to higher ground with a better view of the moon. The nerve of that guy! Are we sure we want to trust someone who throws swords at people? I don't think he meant it personally. And he did save us in the end. Weird place to make camp, though. Why is he here? Game didn't even introduce this guy and they confirmed his name. Probably not a good idea to enter a Terran. Don't want what happened to the fox to happen to us. Oh, but it's fun. Maybe we'll teleport somewhere fun. Taking this? By the way, you were in the opening That's and the box so art, so obviously you're a main character. Not a bad tent you've got here. If you're from a Terran, does that mean you still live in the area? Uh, no. I simply return whenever I have the time. No one can camp out in the snowstorm indefinitely. So how did you manage to get here without a bridge? You can go through the parish, but only when it's a new moon. It's not common knowledge, but those of us who travel in the area keep track of the moon's phases. Now that we're in on the secret, we can get through a tan too. Then, do you know when the next new moon is? About two weeks from now. Uh-oh. We can't wait that long. There is one other time you can pass. During an eclipse. You can only enter the parish when the moon is hidden, during a new moon or an eclipse. It happens to be about time for another eclipse, actually. The moon is full now. Maybe to help guide the alms on their pilgrimage. New moon, full moon, eclipse. Whatever's going on, it sounds like we're still stuck waiting around in this freezing cold. Get a better outfit. If you're looking for something to do, I could use your help. I'm looking for a sphere. A moon sphere, to be precise. It's an old Eternian legend. I know it's here in the drift somewhere. I'm certain of that much. If you would help me search, I'd be most grateful. Searching for ancient moon treasure? Sounds good to me! <sighs> you have my thanks. Let's start toward the south end of Fallow Bridge, near the bottom of the drop-off. 
Morley joined the party. Alright, new party member. Morley des Morley's dexterous and nimble is adept at dealing lightning fast attacking salvos. He's a powerful fighter skilled in a variety of techniques. If you manage to tap into his full potential, he can make for an exceptional damage dealer. If you perfect time if you perfect the timing of his katana swings, he can counter Ooh, okay. His gameplay style seems a lot like Fox, aka Yusuke from Strikers. Has Mori been continuing his search all by himself this whole time? We'll see if that's actually the case, though. But that's There's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Out. We should. Do gooders, the both of you. Oh, I am intrigued by the idea of treasure hunting. Let's plan our next. Who is it? The save here. Uh, I don't want to put you on the win class yet. I want to see how you play normally, and then we'll see what your win class is. Maybe I'll like it more than Dancer and Rude Knight. Although I think I'm probably just going to switch in general. Taking this. Although it'll be a lot easier when we get more vessels. For right now, it's kind of like, oh, only one character can have the vessel. But as we get more, it should be easier. I'll start to be like, oh, these classes are my favorites and everything. I just want the grizzly. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. I could have just fast traveled. It's fine though. Grizzly! Grizzly! The grizzliest of all grizzlies. I'll deal with this. Alright, Morley. This place is huge. Let's see what you got. Where do we even start looking? Over the years. That's a lot of stars. To close to Fallow Bridge toward the south. Oh, then it's back to the broken bridge we go. Hi. Ooh, that was so cool. I love the after image. Oh, it seems so cool. Okay, the triangle move always, um, always does that. Okay, I could do, like, mid combo. Okay. Yeah, Morley definitely gives me Yusuke vibes. I mean, he he's a fox. He, like, he has a... He might be more like a cat, because his tail might be like a cat, but his ears look like they could be fox, too. Either way, though, I get heavy Yusuke vibes from Morley with his fighting style alone. Nice. Okay, I want to set your abilities. I have all these, um, extras. Man, you get abilities like they're candy. I didn't realize how many we've been getting. Let's give you a strength sigil. Hmm. Try giving you fireball to mix it up and we'll give Val something different. I want to give Val, like, maybe a... I have another strength sigil. Yeah, there we go. I'm not likely to use too much magic with Val, that's why. It's your... Weapon type is a knife. Oh, so you use knives with wind. We'll try that out later. Wait, what's a 0 out of 10? Progression? There's a progression system for the classes? I wonder what that does. Interesting. We don't know what his, um, it's kind of already implied that his CS is going to be, uh, well, his CS yet? Yeah, probably moon type. It's probably already obvious enough, but he's probably going to be the arm of the moon. Just because, like, we're in, like, the moon realm. But, you know. I guess we'll see his class trick when I build it up to 100. I definitely want to use it. No. Alright. 
I want to see his class strike though. We're at eighty percent. Area have a lot of greenery back in the day. Of course, though we had our fair share of bitter winter months, but flowers bloomed in the spring, and the air was thick with birdsong. If only travelers like yourselves could have seen it. Wait, I never set your shortcut. That'll do it. Nice. I am Karina. How's it going? It's the waifu. I love the um. Switching characters is so rebirth. Like, it just feels as seamless as FF7 Remake. Remake and Rebirth, because they're basically the same. But the character swapping feels as seamless as those games, which I love. I love, like, the slowdown. Apologies for my show of force earlier. I realize that must have been startling. You think? I mean, most people don't throw swords at folks they just met. Maybe start with a stop before resorting to violence. That's no fun, Karina! Okay, I don't know if I'm understanding morally right, but he seems really cool. Burn! I want this class strike. That was hardly worth the energy. You're telling me, brother. Don't mind if I do. Uh, what exactly is the mystery? I've never heard of it all I know for sure is that it's connected to the elemental spirits. That's enough for me. After the Perish was destroyed, the sphere went missing. I want to return it to my home. Oh, Morley. Please, let us help you. We'll get your homeland's treasure back. Um. The moon sphere should be near this area. Keep an eye out. Sure thing. We'll leave no snowdrift unturned. This is a lost snow fog. Look, the sylphid boomerang is glowing. What is that? It's called an elemental vessel. This one contains wind spiritual energy. Do you think the wind spirits could be reacting to the moon sphere? Down there. Is that the moon sphere you needed? It is. They say that the moon's elemental power is stored in this sphere. I suppose that's why the elemental vessel reacted. I'm so glad you found it. I've been searching for so long. It would have taken me forever to find this on my own. I am indebted to you for your kindness. We can rest back at my camp. <laughs> well, that was easy. Got the moon sphere. We found it. I can hardly believe it. Thank you for your help. What was that? Did I hear a Karina? We couldn't have done it without your amazing skills. Glad we could assist. Though, we should really go back to the camp. Whoa! I almost forgot I was freezing in the excitement. Vessel. I might want to try using the wind move, though, with the wind class with you. The wind power surges! Ooh, I like this outfit. Oh, he's got a hat! That's so sick! It's like Rass's hat from Tales of Eternia, except green. I'm eager to try out my I'm a nomad skills. now. Ooh, so you fight a lot more like Hawkeye from Trials of Mana. Anytime during a basic attack combo, stagger, press square. Okay, same thing as Karina. 
trap. My horizons have broadened. I got arrow rain. Right, arrow rain. It is a trap move. We have that move on. We had it on Karina and I took it out. Or I think I still have it. Or I might have taken it out. Uh, we'll take chivalry. I'm on the right track. What's this? It's likely to be targeted. Eh. Is the power of wind spirits once your mana gauge is full? Generates wind vortexes. That sounds awesome. Everyone can do this? Oh, this is like an upgrade of the Sophie Boomerang, essentially. That seems cool. But we need like an item, so it won't let me get it right now, regardless of how many EP points we have. This outfit. Give me a fight. I want to see how Morley fights with this. I probably expect a lot of Hawkeye resemblances here. There we go. Oh, I can just keep pressing triangle. Really cool. Take me back over here. Well, we should be off. This seems fun to mess around with. It's gonna be so hard to pick which like class I'm using with my wind vessel because they're all so cool. We'll have a good view of the moon from that higher ground we passed. Let's hurry. I remember, I remember. It sounded like Karina there for a minute with her accent. Help. Help. Camera, please. Val, I do not believe for a second that you can't make that. Maybe the game is physically stopping me. can't double jump in the towns, which I kind of feel like is pointless. I don't know why they just are like, hey, you can't double jump here. Yeah, that's what I thought, Val. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know what doing dodges and jumps in the towns would actually, like, change. The moon looks beautiful tonight. Hard to imagine that there's a raging snowstorm nearby. And this blizzard roars throughout Lefeya like the moon lamenting the loss of her ohm. The moon is so bright tonight, it looks like it's come to tell us something. <gasps> hey! It's here! The time of Moonlight's reversion! Now, <laughs> uh, Morley, I swear that child, <gasps> Mother. Hey, what's all this? I thought the moonlight was playing tricks on us at first, but the people of Atern have come back. Morley, what's happening here? so much for that explanation. 
We should go too. 